There's been a 119% increase in autism since the year 2000, and experts still have no clue what's causing it. Today, one in every 68 children is diagnosed with the disorder, but scientists have uncovered a trail that identifies risks which could make the development of the disorder more likely. First off, researchers debunk the idea that vaccinations are to blame. Now the focus has shifted to a combination of genetic and environmental factors. For decades, researchers looked for a specific part of the brain or a single gene that was to blame, but they've since switched to the idea that there may be hundreds of genes that can make a child more prone to developing the disorder. And it's not just having that complex set of genes. More specifically, it's about combining them with environmental factors, either in the womb or during childhood, that increases the risk. Exposure to toxic chemicals, air pollution, pesticides, even to solvents and additives in everyday consumer products all pose a risk. Bacterial or viral infections during pregnancy or expectant mothers with obesity and gestational diabetes are also suspect. The risk correlation is there, but the trigger or the mechanism that makes the disorder actually develop remains unknown. Baby bottles that are BPA-free and fresh clean air are generally believed to be beneficial, but scientists are far from any solution to treat or prevent autism. So studies of a child's genetic makeup and environmental conditions continue, while other research is looking at expectant mothers who already have one child with autism. For now, the best thing a parent can do is to be aware of the symptoms that usually begin to surface in children aged around 12 to 18 months and act on them early by asking smart questions and seeking support. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.